Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating history of the Dassault Mirage 4000, a formidable fighter jet that has largely been forgotten in the annals of aviation history. Let's uncover the remarkable features, the countries it served, and the intriguing circumstances surrounding its production demise. And we'll also see is any American involvement in the downfall of this masterpiece. The Dassault Mirage 4000 was an ambitious endeavor by the French aerospace company Dassault Aviation, aimed at creating a successor to the renowned Mirage 3 and Mirage F1 series. In 1970, France, which was already a traditional aircraft manufacturer, embarked on the journey to develop fourth-generation fighters. From this work, two planes emerged, the Dassault Mirage 2000, a light fighter that continues to fly today, and the Dassault Mirage 4000 which despite having excellent performance, ended up not being successful. Also called the Super Mirage 4000, the enormous Delta was designed to comfortably act as a long-range interceptor or fighter bomber, similar in size, weight, and performance to the Russian Sukhoi Su-27 flanker and the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle of the United States. The Mirage 2000 and Mirage 4000 were developed in parallel, with the former being funded by the French government and the Mirage 4000 being funded by Avion's Marcel Dassault Brigade Aviation. The firm developed the Mirage 4000 using technology from the shelved Mirage F2 project from the previous decade. The Super Mirage was essentially a bigger Mirage 2000, even down to the engine, a Snecma M53 P2 driven by two of these turbojets. In terms of design, each engine was capable of producing a staggering 64.3 kN of thrust each dry, and 95.1 kN of thrust with afterburner, propelling the aircraft to incredible speeds. Its maximum speed was 2,445 km per hour, which stands for Mach 2.3, and its maximum sustained speed was Mach 2.2. It had a service ceiling of 66,000 feet, with a range of 2,000 km, and a combat range was 1,850 km plus, with external tanks and a recce pod. To cover the greater consumption of the two engines, the M4000 carried three times more fuel than its smaller brother. It also had canards and used carbon fiber and boron in its construction, reducing weight and improving the aircraft's performance. Thus, even though it was much larger than the Mirage 2000, the Mirage 4000 still maintained good maneuverability, characteristic of this family of French fighters. The engines were one of the very few things the French government contributed to the project, allowing Dassault to utilize M53S that were part of the Mirage 2000 development. The Mirage 4000 was noticeably larger and heavier than the single-engine Mirage 2000 and designed to fulfill both interception and low-altitude penetration roles. In terms of armaments, Mirage 4000 had 11 hardpoints and a capacity of 8,000 kg plus with provisions to carry combinations of up to three drop tanks, FLIR pod, recce pod, laser designator pod, and Altus 3. Also, it can carry up to four rocket pods, advanced long and medium range air to air missiles, four AGMs, and up to 25 dumb bombs of 250 kilograms, and the traditional 30 millimeters DEFA cannons. The Mirage 4000's versatility allowed it to perform a wide range of missions, including air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and interception. Its substantial payload capacity made it a potent platform for delivering firepower wherever it was needed on the battlefield. However, the Mirage 4000 failed to find any major buyers during the 1980s and was therefore limited to a single, flyable prototype. The program was ended in the early 1980s after the French Air Force chose to concentrate on the Mirage 2000. The French Air Force's preference for the Mirage 2000 left Dassault with no customers, leading to the cancellation of the Mirage 4000 production program. The cancellation was also influenced by the Royal Saudi Air Force's preference for the F-15 and Iran's loss as a potential customer after the 1979 coup. The United States played a pivotal role in the Mirage 4000 saga. During the 1980s, there were discussions between Dassault and American defense officials regarding potential collaboration on the project. However, these talks ultimately faltered, partly due to concerns over competition with American-made fighters like the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. The Mirage 2000 competed with lighter fighter aircraft, such as the F-16 Fighting Falcon, 
and was the natural replacement for the Mirage 3. Despite the Mirage 4000's cancellation, the prototype was later influential in the development of the Dasara fail. The Mirage 4000 program was re-engined with the M53P2 turbofan engine that benefited the Rafale's development. Notably, the Mirage 4000 was a private venture by Dassault, and there was no direct involvement of the United States in its production or cancellation. Finally, it's worth noting that Egypt was the first buyer of the Mirage 2000 fighter jets in late 1981, with deliveries beginning in the early 1980s, but no major purchase of the M4000 was made by any country. Although the Mirage 4000 never achieved widespread adoption, its legacy lives on as a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of its creators. Today, enthusiasts and historians alike continue to marvel at its sleek design and cutting-edge technology, reminding us of a bygone era of innovation in military aviation. The downfall of the French-made Mirage 4000 aircraft can be traced back to various factors, but it would be inaccurate to attribute it solely to America. Instead, it was a combination of internal and external circumstances that contributed to the program's cancellation in 1988. Firstly, the United States cutting fighter exports in the 1970s prompted France to create an alternative, leading to the development of the Mirage 4000. Additionally, the Royal Saudi Air Force's substantial order of the Panavia Tornado aircraft and the political situation in Iran, following a coup in 1979, influenced the outcome. The Mirage 4000, however, did not attract attention from its own government and Dassault focused its efforts on exports. Even so, only two countries showed interest in the project, Saudi Arabia and Iran, which began negotiations to purchase the aircraft, but did not move forward. Moreover, the French Air Force's preference to focus on the Mirage 2000 left Dassault without sufficient customers. Therefore, the downfall of the Mirage 4000 was the result of a confluence of factors, including political, economic, and military considerations, rather than solely American influence.